Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Welcome to this scenic overlook, where a class of would-be potion masters are hard at work on assignments of questionable safety. With their help and the help of their surroundings, we will learn all about the mechanical and electrical events of the heart. Collectively, these events make up what is known as the cardiac cycle and cover everything from the start of one heartbeat to the beginning of the next. Given all that happens in what is typically less than a second of time, it can be helpful to start by breaking this cycle down into two basic parts. Diastole, the period of time during which the ventricles are relaxing, and systole, the period during which the ventricles are contracting. These can be further subdivided into seven distinct phases, which we will walk through one at a time while looking at various changing parameters. This includes left ventricular pressure and volume, aortic pressure, left atrial pressure, the venous pulse, and the timing of the heart sounds. With all that out of the way, let's dive in. The first phase of the cardiac cycle is atrial systole. <laughs> this phase is directly preceded by the P wave on the ECG, which represents the electrical activation or depolarization of the atria. It also happens to look a little bit like this rounded bush in the background. Note, going forward, each part of the ECG will be illustrated on this horizon line. This depolarization is translated into atrial contraction, which causes atrial pressure to rise and blood to be forced through the AV valves into the ventricles. This is sometimes referred to as the atrial kick, hence this kicking horse, and represents the final phase of ventricular filling, which corresponds with a slight increase in ventricular volume. Believe it or not, this horse is kicking because he used to be human. I wish I could say he's the first intern to suffer from being turned into a horse, or any animal for that matter, but uh, actually given my NDA which I signed in triplicate and with ink that was derived from my own platelets, I've probably said too much. Moving on. 